Well, greetings, everybody. This is just a quick video, a follow-up video to the uh, one I just did that I mirrored with the, uh, the chem bombs. So this is actually information that's been out there since 2014. So I'm going to just do this real quick. Uh, chemtrails must stop. Geoengineering must be terminated. That's We all know that. Okay. But we're going to talk about these chem bombs. Which, uh, you know, people are going to have a hard time believing. But they need to believe it. Okay. Chem bombs, a newer and far more deadly invention for the delivery of aerosol geoengineering formulas. Chem bombs are the latest high-tech delivery systems for the top secret aerosol climate changing programs that all United Nation members, countries, governments have agreed to participate in. These programs are commonly refer, referred to as SRM Geoengineering, SAG, Aerosol Geoengineering, uh, Geoengineering, Climate Engineering, and Chemtrails. You can deny it, but you and your children still have to breathe it. As more and more people are becoming aware of the secret covert geoengineering programs happening in their skies above their head, I certainly hope so. I certainly really hope that the public is really waking up. Uh, the public has become more suspicious, suspicious, I'm sorry, but not suspicious enough. They're still walking around with their heads up in the chem clouds like nothing is wrong. Everything is wrong, guys. Everything. Alright, so, well, where was I? Uh, the public has become more suspicious about the persistent jet exhaust trails that they are seeing. Uh, these trails are not like normal contrails that disappear within 30 seconds, like the wake of a, like the wake behind a boat. Okay, this is really 101, uh, chemtrail 101 here. These jet trails are not contrails or vapor trails. They are made from toxic metals and man-made chemicals that will persist and block the sunlight. Usually these trails will spread out and last hours or most of the day. But that is not always the case. Now they have been now they have new spraying formulas that can dissipate much faster before they are recognized by even the most seasoned researcher. Welcome to the New World Order's next, next step, Plan B. Chem bombs and other new types of chemtrail geoengineering mixed in with misinformation. In an attempt to make it difficult to recognize these chemtrails in the sky, for even the well-trained chemtrail geoengineering activist, they have changed the way geoengineering chemtrails look to the public. The CIA FBI, NSA, and all other alphabet groups have been busy keeping the public and chemtrail activists busy arguing whether these are contrails or chemtrails, while they, themselves on the other hand, have already actively changed their spraying patterns and tactics around the globe. Nowadays we see airplanes that are spraying on and off to create more cloud-like patterns uh, instead of easy detectable, detectable lines in the sky that go from horizon to horizon, or other well-known patterns such as grid patterns. They have switched to improve chemical combinations that will disperse, disperse much quicker than ever before. They are very fast dispersing contrail-like formulas that spread quickly and get whiter into a white haze within seconds to just a few minutes instead of hours to cover the sky. While well, these man-made chemical clouds block the sun for over 20 hours. Right, but that's not all that is out there now. Now they have started to rap ravage your sky with the new and lurid invention called chem bombs. And to those who want to question, okay, okay look at that. Chem bomb, the evolution of chemtrails. All right, it's right here. It's right here. See, look. Forget chemtrails. How to identify chem bombs. So. So they're real. 
They were first noticed about two or three years ago and are now common in almost every country. Chem bombs are aerosol, I'm sorry, are aerial aerosol explosions that disperse massive amounts of chemicals into the stratosphere, uh, into the stratosphere being launched from ships, land, or dispersed by planes. The explosion creates a massive artificial chem cloud cover, chemical clouds, over huge areas in a very short period of time, and thus making it more difficult to detect the fingerprints of the culprits, as all we see is the hazy whitened out sky full of artificial chem clouds that seem to be appearing, that seem to appear floating in and out of the blue sky. But the chem bombs don't go undetected as their explosion patterns can be seen on infrared satellite and Google Earth images. This heinous technology is used on a global scale as satellite images are, pro are proving and is modifying weather, weather, weather patterns, I'm sorry, and causing extreme weather events beyond imagination. So, well, it looks to me like uh, chem bombs are a real thing and have been around for a while. I mean, any of you could just get on Google or DuckDuckGo or anything and Google, uh, do an engine search for chem bombs and you will find information. So, it's not nothing new. This is not new information. Uh, just nobody, nobody's covering it. Anyway, so there you go. I'm going to research this a little bit more. And um, until then, thank you for watching. Have a good day.